early and we are driving to our family cabin to do our annual cabin trip that we do with all of our friends. This is our seventh or eighth year? Seven. Seventh year with the same people. We just keep having more babies and more husbands get involved. Anyways, all year long, Louise and I always talk about what it would be like if she could be here with us. So this time, Lou, we're gonna show you, if Lou were here, all the fun that you could be doing with us. Okay, don't judge my driving early morning cabin driving. Come along, bye. If Lou were here, you'd see that even the gas stations love you. It's a happy place. If Lou were here, you could join us in the tradition of eating at this diner. That we always eat at. And look, IHOP isn't the only place that has a selection of syrups. We've got twinberry, which I've never even heard of, maple and apricot, and a Belgian waffle, eggs and bacon. And there's a... A pickle. These are the songs you would have had to endure. Lou were here, this could be your room. Has everything you need. Trap door that leads to nowhere, 70s chair to match the 70s bed, to match the 70s shag carpet. A little cabinet which looks like a kitchen remnant. A clock that's as old as everything else. Swirly lamp, your own heating system, now that's luxury. Art, behold the art. But the best part is, this would be your view in the morning. So beautiful, and you have your own little deck. You can wander on the veranda. And these are the pictures you would see. There's Ryan's foxy grandpa and his catch of the day. Picture of the cabin. Grandpa, look at these saucy ladies. And there's Ryan's grandma, the one that passed away the same day that we found out about this baby. There's Ryan's mother, <laughs> water skiing. Some cool pictures here. They had tons of fun these senior citizens. They always put on um, plays and shows and things like that and a lot of them were water skiing way into their 70s and 80s. Yep, yep, look at that. I think they baked that in the sun if I remember correctly. 
So Ryan's carrying on the tradition of bringing up the same group of friends every year, just like his grandparents did. And hopefully we'll get to that age with the same group of people. When they did a mystery dinner night, I think, and Ryan's grandpa was the drunkard sea captain, and his grandma, who's right there, was like the saucy secretary who was wearing kind of a scandalous outfit, but you can't see her back there. All right, if Lou were here, you'd have all these friends. <laughs> and a better cameraman. <laughs> This is the cliff that we climb. It seems crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm like a, I like parks that are relatively flat. <laughs> and even I could do that. There's a trail that you can go up and then you climb in between the canyon walls and it's beautiful. I'll put some pictures in. If Lou were here, you could lounge out with all of these ladies. If Lou were here, you would need this pregnant mama to kill your spiders for you, while these two <laughs> climb up on the couch and go, get it, get it! <laughs> okay, who just got called? jump off of. This is called the cove. Sometimes there's wild horses that are running back there. It's like a nice lagoon area. And there's a rock over here called Skull Rock because of the eyes. Oh yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Is your wife okay with this? We'll just make it. Yeah, are you sure about that? You better throw it's your a life jacket long first. Way no, down. I'm oh my God. Oh my God. Come back up. There he Yay. is. Woo if Lou were here, you could fly a kite with us. It goes up in the air? That's right. The kite looks perfect, Mommy. The kite looks perfect, Scarlett. And you could be in the field of amazingness with us, where we play with whirly gigs. You could nap like this, and if not that, then like this. And you could cuddle with these two. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. You could play these games. The only one I remember. Oh. That was one of them. Just poured them all into his net. And we win, we win. Woo! Boys lose. Or you could fish off the dock and get lost in thought. These men would cook for you. This is the food you would eat. Stacks of pancakes by the water. We eat out here every morning, and she greets the day. <laughs> Mama! These are the animals you can see, and then send your children after them to scare them into the bushes. Nice job being slow and careful. Good job, girls. Scarlett, what do you see? Uh, what? I see deer. So cute. No, don't scare them. I don't scare them. Hi, Froggy. Hi, Froggy. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> He's cute. She wanna hop in the cell, Dada. She probably will hop pretty soon. All Scarlett's wanted to do is fly a kite. She's been so excited about it, and so there's very little wind, but Daddy's gonna try. We're over here watching Jared throw up helicopter toys. He's catching. And Daddy is over there patiently waiting for five miles an hour gusts of wind so he can get Scarlett's kite in the air. And Scarlet is lounging. Mommy. Yeah? There's a kite. There's a kite. Are you and Daddy going to fly it? <gasps> yeah! <It's high. laughs> oh, success, Scarlet. For a minute at least. She sees it. Bye bye, cabin. Next time we see you, this little girl's going to be so much bigger. 
but she did big things while she was here. She learned how to do somersaults, and she saw froggies and quail and deer and bunnies and a snake and an eagle, and she went swimming all the way up to her shoulders. And the balloon. And she got a balloon from her daddy, and she learned what dragonflies were, and she went fishing. <laughs> It's so weird to leave though, because I know that next time she's gonna be here, she's gonna be an entirely new kid. Say something cute. <laughs> Show me your two and a halfness. I'm two and a half. You are. I bet you. <laughs> okay. Can you wave bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye, cabin. Bye bye, cabin. Much? I want my cabin too much, mama. I'm so glad, baby. You had so much fun. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, I'm getting all sentimental. This cabin's going to watch my little girl grow up. It watched my husband grow up, and it watched our nephew grow up. And now it's Scarlett's turn, and then baby Huckle's turn. And every time the cabin sees it, they'll be that much bigger and that much more capable. Oh, dear. Driving away and reminiscing, and Ryan had a fortune cookie left, so he ate it. And this was his fortune. It says, you will always be surrounded by true friends. That's a good place to end it. Bye, everybody. Thank you guys for watching and for coming along with us. I love this video because it's like a time capsule for me and Rye. This picture that you're looking at is of Scarlett the night that we went and saw a laser show on the side of a dam. She thought it was the best night of her life. Every other kid and pretty much person there wasn't as impressed as Scarlett was. Would have been cool if it was 1984 or if you're a Beeble. However, the footage didn't turn out great, the camera didn't pick up the laser show, but she said such cute things I wanted to include it for those diehard Beeble fans. So thanks again guys, enjoy! You should be able to see something in the shot, but you have to listen to Ryan describe what, where we are and what we're here to see. We're at a big, huge dam. We're going to see a laser light show. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, Scarlett's just said, here comes the show. Can you say that again, baby? Here comes the show, Mommy. Yeah. Here, there's the moon. There's something to see, right? There it is. Look what happened. What's going to happen? It's beautiful, Mommy. It is beautiful. Okay, there's not much visual for you to see, but my kid is way into it, and she's cute, so I'm recording her. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, and there's another one, Mama. There's another one. Oh. Oh, an oval. And an oval? And a <gasps> And a star? Ball? And a ball? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Your show's over. You're looking at me and Scarlett's sad face, even though you can't see it. Every other child in the world is so glad that it's done and is bored out of their mind, and mine wants to cry because she wants it to start over again. Huh? Yeah. Do you want to watch it again? Yeah, Mama. We'll have to come back another time. That was a good show, huh? It's okay, honey. We'll come back another time. We'll come back. <laughs>